Hello everyone, it's me, Tom. Welcome to another episode of Chubby Cat, episode 59. Um, as you can tell, yes, it's me, by myself, once again. Uh, I feel like a PBJ and pickles, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just the pickles, like, one without the PB and J. I'm, I'm like, Hall and Oates and Carl, you know, without Hall and Oates. I'm like, you know, I'm like a, you know, I'm just like a cult without a following, you know, that's without friends, you know, because it's like that song says, everyone, you gotta have friends, you gotta, you know, and at this moment, you know, it's like that other song, you know, that song, or you got a friend in me, well, I just feel like I have no friends, and they're not in me, Uh, yes, you heard it here, folks, I want my friends, and I want them in me. Um, but yep, yeah, it's just me again, solo, um, hand solo, let's play solo. Um, yeah, I went to Sterling's house because, or actually, we planned it. Jason's back. He's back in town. He's back in black. He's back in the San Diego. Um, but work is still making him work ungodly hours. Um, that stupid training. So uh, it was pretty fun. We I planned that's to record yesterday. He were I mean. He got back to me. He's like, oh, shit, I forgot I have to work 12-hour dates, so that's not going to work. And I was like, all right, well, I'll head to Sterling's house after work, and we'll get this going. Literally got off work, texted Sterling. I was like, hey, man, I'm going to be there by 9, um, wrapping up now. You still down to record. Received text message at, let's just, you know what, let me just bring up the evidence. 819. Wrapping now. Still want to try to record? Probs will be there by 9-ish. 8.24. I'm still down. 8.35. Sweet. En route. Nothing. Didn't hear anything from him after en route. Show up to his house. Lug my stuff up his stupid driveway. Which is, it is a stupid driveway. I don't know if you've ever been to Sterling's house. You probably haven't. But, um, he has a really dumb driveway. It's really steep. Lugged all my recording equipment up there, opened the door, um, and it's his dad. His dad's just hanging out, and he kind of looks at me and goes, oh, your hand's full. I'm like, yeah, I'm here to record, and uh, immediately as I walk into the room, I do not see Sterling. I'm like, okay, look into where his room's at. His door's closed. I'm like, great. Is Sterling asleep? And he's like, I think so. And he's like, "Did did he know you were coming over? And I was like, I literally texted him 30 minutes ago that I was going to be here by 9. And it was 9.05, you guys. And he's like, all right, we'll go in there and wake him up. And I was like, okay. So I opened the door. And what do I see but a beautiful, beautiful two-bear man just laying there in his bed, underwear, TV on, AC blowing, fur flo- fur rug on the floor, and he's de- and candle nice little candle next to his bedside um electric don't worry he didn't fall asleep with the lit candle and he was just snoring away and i tried to arouse him uh shook him a couple times called out to him uh he did not he did not waken he did not muster he did not move and uh so i just hung out with his dad for like 15 minutes while i finished my coffee and then i left and that was my story of how i tried to record last night but it didn't happen And how I'm here now by myself, recording by myself once again, because my brothers are dead to me and just don't care about this podcast anymore. You see? See what I did there? Um, But yeah, so last episode, or two episodes ago when I was by myself, I just talked. Then I did a Let's Play, which was kind of fun. Um, And uh, so I think for this episode, to change it up a little bit, I'm going to do everything in haiku. That's a lie. I don't... I don't mean, I couldn't even think of a haiku. Maybe I'll sing now. No, I'm just going to talk. But yeah, so it's been a fun couple of days. I'm glad to have Jason back and all that good stuff. I had some really fun stuff I want to talk to him about and get their opinion on. But, uh, you know, whatever. But basically, what I really want to talk about, it's my birthday. And yes, I'm going to party like I want to this upcoming weekend. And I had this weird scenario where it happened where, so normally, this is going to make me sound really selfish. I know not everyone's like this, but uh, I don't have to plan anything for my birthday, if that makes sense. Like, normally it's like my family kind of is like, hey, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, oh, just this. And then they just make it happen, and I show up. This year, though, 
I'm turning the big 2727. And uh, I wanted to do something different. I was like, camping trip. Camping trip would be fun. And uh, so I tried to get everyone excited to go see like the Redwoods. No one wanted to go. So then I was like, whatever, I'll go by myself because I'm turning 27 and I'm an adult and I can go camping by myself if I want. I was convinced otherwise that camping by myself in the Redwoods on my birthday might be a little weird. So that's not happening. So then I was left with, well, okay, well, I got to get some plans together last minute. And so then I ended up having to plan my own birthday and then inviting people to the thing, which was a really weird thing to happen to me this year because I'm like, this must be what an adult does. Because normally it just stuff gets planned and I show up and I'm like, oh, it was a good birthday. This year I was like, all right, well, I want to play board games on Sunday and I want to do brunch because I've never been to brunch. And everyone's like, okay. And I was like, okay, we're going to go here at this time. Um, so show up if you want to be there. If not, then cool. I'll see you around. But yeah, I had to like plan the activities and it was weird. And then Saturday I'm going to downtown San Diego and I got a room. So I'm going to live it up, take my camera and do some jungle forest shooting. Cause that's what we call the downtown skyscrapers here. The jungle. Um, it's almost like my own personal forest since I'm not seeing actual redwoods. I have to see artificial ones, skyscrapers and whatnot. But yeah, so it was just a weird phenomenon where I was like, oh, this must be what becoming an adult means. Planning your own birthday, having friends show up, and uh, so they can say happy birthday and you feel like you're loved. But partly I don't feel like I'm loved because I don't even know if I had plan. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird situation and what not. Um, it's only been seven minutes and that was my number one story, you guys. Uh, so I don't know where this podcast is going to go now because I literally just talked about my number one topic. So that's pretty sick. Uh, anyways, I bought a Nintendo switch. That's pretty cool. Never thought I would buy a switch. Um, I have a DS XL that I've 3DS that I've been, um, enjoying i haven't played it in a really long time though i played it last time i played it was fire emblem awakening when that game came out and then there wasn't really any other games i was like i must play this on this system um so it's kind of been just collecting dust but uh they came out with that fire emblem warriors game which is like fire emblem meets dynasty warriors and i'm a huge fan of the dynasty warriors franchise um played all the dynasty warriors played the gundam war gundam dynasty warriors Um, I tried to get into Samurai Warriors, but that was just a horrible game, and the combat style sucked. But uh, my buddy bought a Switch and was playing that game, and I was like, yes, I need this. And literally that day we went out, and I bought it. And um, I've been playing the shit out of it, you guys. Um, And I know it comes with, like, a docking station, so you can play it on the screen. But I've used it it mostly as, like, a handheld. Um, Just a really, like, awesome handheld device instead of like actually docking it other than just to charge it um i don't know if that's what nintendo intended to do but i don't know nintendo pretty smart making a handheld console although the battery kind of sucks on it which i'm kind of bummed about um i mean it's pretty easy to charge like plug in and charge i guess um and keep playing like with the cord but like you can't the one thing that kind of bugs me is like the charging port i'm sure the nintendo switch has been out for a while so everyone this is old news but for me it's new the charging port's on the bottom so you can't really like put it on the board and like use the stand to like stand it up or anything like you basically have to be holding it which i mean at this point is fine with me because i use it mostly as a handheld but i don't know like what if i wanted to like set it up on a little stand and like play and have it charging you can't do that because the cable's right there like they should have moved it to the top or have like 180 capability to like flip the screen around i don't know nintendo get at me i got i got ideas for your switch man but uh, it's a lot of fun um i've literally put the joy cons on and never taken them off so i don't know that first initial click was kind of cool um was hoping for more of an audible snap like in the commercials uh but overall, I would, uh, so far, I've had it for about three days now, and uh, I've played it every day for at least a couple hours, um, played it on my lunch break, and uh, yeah, it's it's entertaining, it's fun, um, 
graphics are pretty good. Like, I've enjoyed it. Um, definitely want to check out Breath of the Wilds next after I beat Warriors. And then maybe even uh, check out this Mario game. Well, yeah. I also heard uh, Golf Story in Stardew Valley is pretty exciting. So maybe check those out. But I don't know. They're not like 100% my cup of tea when it comes to gaming style and like keeping my interest. But so far, enjoyed it. Glad I got it. Excited to see where the console goes and games. This is like my first console I've owned since like the N64. So kudos to you, Nintendo, for um, getting me to buy your new console. So there you go. I bought you Switch before I bought a PS4. What has the world come to? Uh, that's pretty much, yeah. I don't know. How's your guys' week going? You can't talk to me, so... That's irrelevant. I don't care. Anyways, you could tell me, but I probably already zoned out. Uh, um, I guess we can talk about my dating life. That's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm on Tinder, and um, I did a thing on Tinder. So, for those of you who don't know, Tinder is that swiping app where you swipe left. If you're not interested, swipe right. If you are, um, I tried paying for it for a month to see, like you know, just if there was a difference, like because normally I use the free service, but you run out of likes, and then also I feel like you don't get put in front of as many people, if that makes sense. So I was like, you know what, I'll pay for a month and see if I see, like, a return. And I did, a little, not a lot. But then I have a friend, and she sets her things to date older men, like, 35 to, like, 55. Like, she enjoys older men. And that got me to thinking, like, I've heard this saying a lot, that girls like to date older guys. Um, just because, in my opinion, it's because... You know, they're more financially secure. They kind of have their shit together. and They, they know what they want in life. There's no games. Um, they're independent. Um, and all that good stuff. So I was like, I was thinking, well, if age is just a number, then why don't I change my age on Tinder? So I went to Facebook, deleted the app on Tinder, went to Facebook, changed my birthday to 1982 or whatever, or 1980. So now it says I'm 36. So when I redownload the app, it says I'm 36. But you can hide your age. But now, girls who want to match with 36-year-olds, I pop up in their feed. I match with them. And it's actually had great success. Like, my first night of doing this, I had 25 matches. I was like, what is going on? And, you know, like, I'll start a conversation. It's going great. And then somewhere in there, I'll let them know, hey, I'm actually 26. But that 36 and them seeing me in their feed is like getting my foot in the door. So that's the way I'm thinking about it. Um, it's been great success, although a lot of my matches that I've been matching with have been unmatching me because I think they're finding out that I'm not 36. Because I'm I'd be a really good looking 36 year old, if that makes sense. But uh, if you're having some trouble out there, always just lie about your age. Girls do it, so why can't the men? That's that's my advice to you. That's that's my little nugget of of wisdom for the day. Go out and lie about your age, men. Say you're older. Because men, because women say they're younger all the time. So there's that. There's that info for you. Um, oh, I got a text. I got a text from, from said friend who dates older men. I took a picture of my cats earlier. They were snuggling on the table and it was adorable. Um, So, you know, there's that. Wait, I'm going to make all my friends feel really bad right now for not being here right now. Podcasting by myself once again. Frowny face. Oh, I just scratched myself. Yeah, how much? How much? Oh, we've been talking for 15 minutes now. I think I'm going to keep this about 20 minutes. Um, these one episodes always feel like they drag on a little bit, and I don't want you guys to get bored. And since I don't really have, like, a topic or a theme to talk about, um, yeah, I'm just kind of all over the place, you know, like, like a drunk girl at the bar. Plus, I have work in, in an hour, so I have to export this and still upload it, which is a fun fact about Thomas's life. I guess I could talk about that work. So I've been trying to look for a full-time job, right? And in the meantime, I work part-time at a, at a place that, called, that rhymes with bold gravy. And um, they asked me, because I once was a manager there, so they asked me to be a temporary manager because they were two managers down. 
And I was like, sure, like it's more money or at least more hours, you know, and then more money um, in the meantime while I'm looking for work. And I've had some interviews and stuff, just no offers yet. So I was supposed to be a temp manager for about a month and a month, month or so. And I'm coming to an end of that. I'm like, sweet. I have literally Black Friday. Like I just have to get through next week and I'm back to don't have a keys. They hired somebody. She's taking over. Awesome. Come to find out this woman has not shown up for any of her training. Can't get a hold of her. She is like literally ghosted a company, which is also a bold move. I would say to ghost ghost a company like ghosting somebody, whatever ghosting a company man or someone who just hired you to give you a job is like some balls. So she's like disappeared. So it comes up to me. Manager comes up to me and goes, Hey, so blah, blah, blah. This is happening. was hoping that you would stay on a little longer as a temp manager. You don't get any more money. And you don't get any more bonus. Like, like I get bonus pay for doing this. And I was like, well, that kind of sucks. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, well, okay, I'll do it. She's like, we get the hours, 40 hours a week. And I was like, that sounds horrible. But I took anyways because I don't have, you know, I need income. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it. But it's so bad, you guys. Like, I hated it when I was a manager a, like two years ago, a year and a half ago. Like, I was a manager at this company making like twelve fifty an hour, right? Twelve fifty an hour to work forty hours a week, thirty five to forty hours a week. And it's like stressful, you know, like merchandising, doing this stuff, figuring it out. Like it's a lot of work to like help run a store and like make sure things run smoothly. And like you don't get paid your worth. Like you paid twelve fifty an hour, like it's fucking stupid. So then when I came back part time, I got paid ten fifty an hour. I know you're saying, wait, isn't minimum wage eleven dollars? Well in the city of Santee, we're not considered San Diego County so we get paid a different minimum wage. Yeah, I know it's shitty, but so ten fifty an hour. But I'm like, whatever. It's part time at the time. Like it's just money coming in, so I can pay my bills. I keep paying my bills, which is important, you guys. It's adulthood. You do what you got to do, and it's not fast food. That's like my number one rule. I don't want to work fast food unless like I am desperate. So now imagine getting paid ten fifty an hour, but being a temporary manager. And like granted, I don't have to do all this stuff. I have to do as a manager. I'm basically just a body in the store, you know, that like has keys and I kind of help with breaks and run the floor, um, and stuff like that, which is not bad. But when you, this is, this is the, this is the rub where I get down to. So yesterday was a Tuesday. There was three managers on the floor, including myself. I was opening manager, right? Cool. I was there from seven to four. I opened, did all the opening procedures, help process. Then we had our ASM come in and then we had our like service and training manager come in at one they spent the entire time i was there like so asm came in at nine service and training came in at one right i put them on the our leader schedule we break it down by hours to share and i was in charge of the floor they were in the office pretty much i would say 98 percent of the time right and it's annoying it's it's annoying like i get it they're doing stuff but like they just did it they didn't I put them on the board and they just didn't, they just gave me the board all day because they had stuff to, to do to get done. They didn't ask, they just did it. Um, even though I put them on the board, they didn't, they were like, oh, do I have the board at all? No, they just were in the office. Like when I went to lunch, I was like, you ready for the board? And like, they're like, no, not really. And I was like, well, I have to go to lunch. Like that was the one hour while I was there that I didn't have to like cover the floor. So basically I take all responsibility for sales and ONCs made during those hours and yeah yeah so yeah there's that but basically that's me since I have keys I don't really have any like like responsibilities other than running the floor and making sure things run smoothly on the floor I get used as like oh he's on the floor he's good so we get to work in the office and do all of our backlog stuff that we don't normally get to do which is bull hockey. Cause that's the reason I didn't like being a manager last time because I felt like I was always the manager that didn't get to do his stuff because they, or their other stuff took priority. So now I'm there. That's me griping. That's me griping about the bold Navy, <laughs> the bold gravy. Whoops. Um, but yeah, whatever. Hopefully I'll be out there soon. Had a couple job interviews and I'm ready to be gone with retail for good. Plus I feel like, yeah, never mind. I'm just done. But anyways, uh, I think that's going to do it for me, you guys. Like I said, short and sweet. I'm really just doing this because I like to say that we've never missed a week of Chubby Cat since we started last October. 
oh, I guess I can't say last October, but in October a year ago. Um, so I don't want to not record an episode and put it up because I feel like it's a really cool thing to say. Like we haven't missed an episode, an episode week since we've started. And like, that's pretty baller to say. So this is why we're doing the one man episodes just so I can, I can keep stroking my ego and say that, uh, we haven't missed a week. Um, but yeah, if you, uh, like this, hopefully we'll be back to a three man or at least a two man here soon. Um, I know these three apps or these one man apps are kind of weird, um, if I have to do another one man ep next week and I, and I can't get a guest or whatnot, um, I promise I'll do a themed, uh, episode or at least, um, I've been telling you this idea of another like podcast that's like just one man. Um, and so if that ends up happening, it's just me again next week, I'll do that and I'll have more of a structure to it and it'll probably be uh, a little awesome, a little bit more streamlined. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you again for tuning in. Um, Check us out on social media at Chubby Cat Crew for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, you can email us at chubbycatpodcast at gmail.com or check us out at chubbycat.net. Um, if you like what you heard or want to share it, listen to our past episodes or whatnot, make sure you like and subscribe to us on iTunes, SoundCloud. Uh, uh, we're trying to get on Spotify. Um, it's something about like a backlogging issue that we're trying to figure I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> we're trying to figure out. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so hopefully we can get that figured out. We'll be on there soon. Uh, but yeah, if there's any other platforms that you think that we should be on or, um, that, you know, you listen to and we're not on, but would like us on, let us know so we can try to get on it. And so you have your most pop so we can be on you. That's right. I want you to be our friends and I want you to be on us and yeah, that got weird. Um, but I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna end it on that weird note because that's what we do here at Chubby Cat Studios. We just get weird with it and we roll with it. But uh, thank you guys so much for listening, and uh, until next week, you guys, rub a dub chub.